Assalamu alaikum. So we reached to the third part of uh, carboxylic acid derivative, which is going to be the last uh, part uh, for explanation. Anyway, the chemistry of acid anhydride, as we mentioned before, usually the, the anhydride is can be prepared by two methods. Is either by a condensation method to equivalent of uh, carboxylic acid in high temperature to get uh, anhydride or by as we, we taken previously uh, from uh, acid halide a reaction of acid halide with uh, carboxylic acid salt so now the carboxylic acid salt like in this one the chloride is going to condense with the sodium to get the salt and then this part with the benzoate to get the anhydride the, this one is already we have talking about it uh, in the second part uh, video anyway so the reaction of acetic anhydride uh, is same as the carboxylic acid or uh, acid chloride acid anhydride can be hydrolysis same the acid chloride to get the carboxylic acid the partner compound this one is going to broken or to react with the alcohol to get ester to react with alcohol to get ester or react with the amine or am, uh, ammonia to get amide to get the amide compound and uh, the hydrolysis the reduction the hydrogenation the reduction of the anhydride is going to give aldehyde and then kohol so be careful again and again and again the reduction the hydrogenation is usually giving aldehyde for all the derivative of carboxylic acid how to get ketone we can get ketone by Grignard reagent RMGX this is usually we getting ketone or getting kohol as we mentioned before anyway so now conversion of acetic anhydride into ester uh, the acetic anhydride to ester is uh, just reaction of acetic anhydride as we mentioned before with alcohol in the presence of sodium hydroxide as a base catalyst it's just direct hydrolysis this one then this one is going to react to get the ester compound ester functional group conversion of acetic anhydride into amide same is just reaction of amine with acetic anhydride also in the presence of sodium hydroxide as a uh, as a base catalyst to get the amide just keep in mind this acetic anhydride has two part of uh, carboxylic acid but in the reaction is just one part is going to react just one part is going to react for example if I have one equivalent from this one so there's no need for to use cannot use 0.5 equivalent from anhydride I'm going to treat the anhydride as a one so and if I have one equivalent then I need to use one equivalent of acetic anhydride. I cannot use 0.5 because you, you may going to say uh, this is going to have two carboxylic acids. So why I need to use uh, one equivalent? Should be I use uh, half equivalent? No, no. Don't read this one as a two compound, two carboxylic acid because the reaction is going to be just with the one, one carboxylic acid. The second one is going to get as a side product. Keep in mind this one. Now for the ester, uh, carboxylic acid ester compound. For ester compound, we can prepare ester as we mentioned before. It's just a reaction of carboxylic acid either with Rx as SN2 mechanism in the presence of, of course, in the presence of base as a catalyst or by Fischer reaction, which is going to react kohol with carboxylic acid in the presence as uh, uh, acid catalyst or by converted the uh, carboxylic acid to acid chloride and then acid chloride 
with kohul without catalyst is just base catalyst modern or melt base catalyst like beridium triethyl amine and not strong base as a catalyst this is three way to get the ester compound is either by sn2 or by fischer reaction or by converted to acid chloride and then acid chloride to uh, ester all as you can see is all this method and this one these two all of the these two method is using based except the fischer reaction is using acid catalyst the reaction the reaction of uh, ester uh, same almost same with the acid halide it can be hydrolyzed by using acid condition or base condition but the famous one is using base condition famous one is using base condition in the presence of water so this one is base condition this one is acid condition so you can use both either acid condition to get hydrolysis to get the kohul and uh, carboxylic acid the partner compound or use acid condition to get also kohul and the carboxylic acid uh, compound so just that we take the mechanism by using both either by using the catalyst acid catalyst or base catalyst in case we're using the base catalyst the OH of the base is going to attack the carbon of carbonyl then the bond the double bond is going to open toward the oxygen after is getting the open to the wall of oxygen then is just uh, getting the next reaction the next step which is going to be the intermediate that contain the base the hydroxyl group and the anion on the like, oxygen of carbonyl group with L O R now rearrangement is going to happen this a negative charge is going to get a double bond toward the carbon of carbonyl again to get and this one the kohol is getting out removed to get the carboxylic acid and OR alcohol now because the acid condition the carboxylic is has acid properties the proton is going to donate to alcohol compound to get kohol and anion carboxylic acid now in the present of water or present of any acid it can take in the proton to get the carboxylic acid again this mechanism is for base condition so it's the most important one the, the initial step is the ha the base the catalyst is OH is attack the carbon of carbonyl and the C double bond O is going to open toward the oxygen and then just the rest is just rearrangement in case we're using the acid condition in the acid condition in the using of acid condition oh sorry in case we're using acid condition now the mechanism is going to be opposite totally in the base the hydroxyl is going to attack the carbon of carbonyl but now in the acid condition no the electron pair the electron pair of oxygen of carbon carbonyl is going to attack the proton the acid condition the acid catalyst to get the proton now is getting the intermediate the intermediate is going to be O positive here uh, as this one O positive because three bond now there is another molecule water molecule the oxygen of mole water molecule is going to attack the carbon of carbonyl getting the intermediate this intermediate is contain all the water contain positive and OR of the ester the kohol part and this one is getting OH another molecule from water is going to attack this hydrogen on the oxygen of carboxylic acid and then this bond of OH is going to broken toward the carbon then is getting double bond and this one alcohol OR is getting out this one 
to get the carboxylic acid and alcohol. So the main thing for the esterification hydrolysis is the, the two mechanism is the first step. Again, I will repeat it. For the acid condition, the oxygen of carbonyl group is going the electron pair is going to attack the uh, proton of uh, acid catalyst but in the base no the way is opposite the OH the hydroxyl group is going to attack the carbon of carbonyl this is just the initial step the rest is just rearrangement as usual now conversion of ester into amide uh, just ester react with uh, any amine primary amine or secondary amine is getting direct amide this one is going to broken then it's going to form the new bond for uh, with amine to get the amide the hydrolysis converted uh, ester to alcohol uh, the most famous catalyst is lithium aluminum hydride lithium aluminum hydride in the present of ether and acid, co uh, acid condition is direct giving to us the alcohol compound uh, let me take this compound and be careful this compound is has two parts the bond is going to broken from here so this one in the red color is going to be here and this one is going to be here so that means there is two hydroxyl group because this one is cyclic if the one is open chain like this one then it's broken from here it's getting two molecules two compound this compound has OH and this compound has o, uh, OH but in case we have cyclic we will get one compound with two hydroxyl group I will repeat it if we have open chain compound ester we will, the product of hydrolysis hydrogenation we are getting two compound two compound one two one two if the compound is cyclic lactone then we are getting one compound with two hydroxyl group this is the main difference this is general mechanism of the uh, reduction using the lithium ion hydride we are taken previously and now there is one catalyst a selective catalyst a selective catalyst for selective catalyst for the hydrogenation selective catalyst for hydrogenation of ester to aldehyde this catalyst is called diisobutyl aluminum hydride diisobutyl aluminum hydride diba this is the general structure for that this catalyst in the present of toluin and acid condition of course is getting aldehyde this is selective this can reduce this part the carboxylic acid part and this is kohol part the originality of this compound is this is acid part and this is kohol part so the acid part is converted to aldehyde and this one is broken to the original one alcohol so, th so this one is selective catalyst the DIBAH now conversion of ester into alcohol by using Grignard reaction in the Grignard reaction when using the Grignard reaction is getting a broken this one from here the green one the Kohl part is going to be eliminated Kohl part is going to be eliminated and the R of Mg of the Grignard reaction is getting two substitution on the carbon of carbonyl and this one is going to convert it to alcohol so the reaction of Grignard with ester need for two equivalent to get two substitution two substitution on carbon of carbonyl and the hydroxy so the final compound is getting kohol same as we are mentioned in the acetic anhydride or as we mentioned in the acid halide so the chemistry of amide the chemistry of amide as we mentioned before the reaction of acid halide with any type of amide is either primary secondary tertiary is direct getting amide this is the famous and uh, 
one for the famous one for the preparation of the what do you call amide. It's not the one w the react of amine with ester to get amide. This one is more famous than that. The general mechanism for this reaction to get amide in the present of acid condition is uh, the hydrolysis of amide in the, pres in the present of acid condition. By the way, amide is more stable. So the hydrolysis of amide is not going to be that easy. It's too difficult to get the hydrolysis of amide into amine and carboxylic acid, the partner compound. However, the hydrolysis of amide is going to be started with acid condition. This acid condition is going to get a proton for to the oxygen. That means the oxygen is going to attack the proton. Oxygen, the electron pair of oxygen, oxidable bond O, is going to attack the acid condition. The attack, the acid condition to get the proton, and then we are getting OH positive. Then the bond, the C double bond, is going to open toward the oxygen to get the this stable condition. Now the water, another molecule from water, is going to attack the carbon. Same with the ester, is going to attack the carbon of carbonyl. Same with the hydrolysis of ester by present of acid condition. Now the intermediate is getting all together, the water and the amine. This is the water, the amine, and the hydroxyl group from the proton of acid. Getting the rearrangement by breaking this bond to here again. This bond to here, the OH, to get C double bond. This one is happening by attack the H2O, the, double, the electron pair, to the proton to get the catalyst again. In this case, after broken this one direct, in the same time, the amide is getting out. In the same time, the amide is getting out. But before amide is getting out, the amide is going to attack the proton of the water to be an H3 positive and getting out. So the general mechanism, I will repeat it, is started with uh, oxygen. Just let me uh, explain it clearly. Okay, we're going to start here. Hmm. Okay, we have R, C, double bond, O, N, H. So the H the catalyst the electron is going to attack this one to get R C double bond O H so now it's getting positive because it's a three bond and N H two this is two after that I will delete this one After that, now, OH2, the water, the water is going to attack the carbon of carbonyl, and this bond is going to be open to get this compound, R, C, O, H, and here is N, H2, and here is N, uh, sorry, O. O H two. Now I will delete this one. Okay. Now this I mean the the electron pair of nitrogen is going to attack one of the hydrogen of the water to get R C O H and N H3 now is this one is getting positive and here is O H because one of the hydrogen one of the hydrogen is going to the nitrogen now let me delete this one so this compound this the bond is going to broken to here when this one is broken to the carbon 
this one is getting out so it's giving to us n h3 with r c double bond o o h plus this is the general mechanism it's too easy mechanism as been aster okay what about if we are using base condition in the base condition uh, same again same with the ester same exactly with the ester the okay i cannot work with this one okay the hydroxyl group the base con the base uh, acid is going to attack the carbon of carbonyl and the double bond is going to open toward the oxygen now is negative charge is getting uh, on the oxygen of carbonyl after that the intermediate the rearrangement is going to be to get a more stable condition the minus on the oxygen is going to broken toward the carbon of uh, carbonyl and then in case in the same time as this one to get the form of double bond the amine is getting to broken when this one the negative charge is getting to the carbon in same time the amine is taking out to eliminate now we are getting the carboxylic acid with the amine amine because it's minus needing for one a proton this is one proton is taken again to attack the uh, hy the hydroxyl group OH of carboxylic acid to get carboxyl anion and amine this is general mechanism for the hydrolysis of amine by base condition and acid condition the reduction of amine is also using lithium aluminum hydride as a catalyst in ether but huh, here we don't use acid condition usually in the ester hydrolysis of ester we're using acid condition but in amine we don't we, in, in amide sorry in amide we don't use acid condition we just use a few drop of water and lithium aluminum hydride in ether last time we using lithium aluminum hydride in acid condition it's just hydrolysis directly then we're getting amine one compound we're getting amine the hydrolysis of amide the reduction of amide is getting amine one compound not like in the ester we are getting two compound and this is the general mechanism for the lithium aluminum hydride the same almost in the all lithium aluminum hydride using anyway so until here we are finishing the carboxylic acid derivative i hope this our video is going to be useful uh, and making the carboxylic acid derivative is easier for you to understand uh, see you in the next chapter in the amine chapter goodbye